following yesterday was eventful. It was to me similar to celebration of Christmas Eve, New Year Eve, because there were fireworks, children were out, adults were out, different costumes. But for the African parents <laughs> living abroad, they see it as a vision of darkness, it's a vision of something bad. But the dilemma for them is their children. They go to school, they mix with these Western children, and they are also tempted to celebrate it. But for some African parents, they find it difficult to celebrate that, and they deny their children of this golden opportunity to celebrate Halloween. But one thing I like about churches as well, in the Western world, some churches, they celebrate, they have a party on that day, where children will come and celebrate it in the way of God. You know, in the way of the Lord, they give them platform to dance, to sing, to socialize, wear your costume, but don't wear, which is no scary costume, you can, you know, some people dress like Pharaoh, some people dress like different Bible characters, some people dress like different cartoon characters, Avengers that are not too scary, Power Man, Superman, you know, and the likes, and it was eventful, and the fireworks, man, I said it's almost similar to celebration of Christmas Eve, New Year Eve, it was almost all children were how yesterday, you know, Everywhere you go, till night, people celebrating. And one thing about Halloween is the weather gets darker when it's close to Halloween. Maybe October, a week to 31st of October, it starts getting darker. And, but for African parents, I, I think if you do not have a church that celebrates this, if you have a community of African people, you could have a party just for your children. For that day, they won't wear something scary. You could just, you know, have a party. People have parties, you know, around the community and you celebrate it in the way you want your children, you know. To celebrate it so that you can control the narrative for them but not celebrating at all for them some of them may not be happy they, they won't tell you but not, they may not be happy and years later when they are bold enough to tell you that i didn't like what you did then we should have you know don't deprive them that opportunity you are in the western world and sometimes you have to you know make them you know do things within your own you know control and space where you can also control them and because when they grow older they have the liberty you know and you'll be able to control them but teach them in the path you want their energy, their lifestyle to be patterned, you know, around. So I don't think it is bad personally if you do it that way.